Welcome to tutorial 2 in this series of tutorials on how to work with AppCraft. By the time you've done this tutorial, you will have built your very first app. It will be a fun little game, but it will help you understand some very important basics in building apps. First, you will learn about XY coordinates. Understanding XY coordinates is a very important part of building apps, and you'll understand how AppCraft displays XY coordinates. You will create a scene or a stage where your gameplay will take place. You will put actors on that stage, sometimes called objects, sometimes called sprites, that you will be able to interact with. And finally, you will give those objects power, make them interactive using scenarios. We look forward to working with you and having you create your very first app with app crafts. This tutorial will be divided into several mini lessons. Lesson 1 will teach you the basics of creating a new app and adding scenes. The first step in building your app is to create a new app. You will do this by hitting the edit button in the right hand corner. Once you hit the edit button, you will notice that all the little icons now have an X, a pencil, and a plus sign. The plus sign is used to duplicate or make an extra copy of this particular app. The edit is to edit it, and of course the X is to make it go away. What you'll want to do is hit the plus sign over here, and that will create a brand new app. You will give your app a name. I called mine XY Example, which you can call yours My First App. You will decide whether you want it to be in portrait or landscape mode. In this case, I chose portrait mode, which makes the app 768 pixels wide by 100 by 1024 pixels long. And you can also change the icon. So instead of having an A with a green background, I chose to make mine a paint palette with an orange background. If you want your app to always start with the first scene, you will choose first scene. If you would like it to start where it left off last, you will choose last played scene. I decided that first scene was where I wanted mine to start. And when you're done, hit the done key. I now have a blank scene, sometimes called a stage, and this blank scene has an edit button. So let's click on the edit button. The only difference that you'll find now is that there is a plus sign in the upper left hand corner. Go ahead and click on the plus sign. Once you click on that plus sign, you will get a new scene box. You will name your scene. Scene 1 should work. And you can change the background, which we will do. At this point, about the only thing you can do to your background is give it a new color. So I chose a color, and I chose orange. Pick the color that you'd like, and then click on the New Scene button to get back to more choices for your scene. We will not work with any of the physics options at this point, but do notice that you can turn physics on, you can make a wall around your screen, and you can even add gravity. Let's make sure that our gravity is at zero and zero for this game. You now have a blank scene on which to design your gameplay or build your app. Mine is orange, you probably have a different color, but take a notice that this is portrait mode. Portrait mode means that the upper part is skinnier than the length. And if you go to the right hand corner, the upper right hand corner, you will find that that coordinate is 750 and if you scroll down and move over to the bottom left hand corner you'll find that you can go down almost a thousand pixels actually a thousand twenty four pixels this is the screen that we will use to design our gameplay before we go on let's take a few minutes and review the XY coordinates notice that in the upper left hand corner, your x coordinate is 0 and your y coordinate is 0. Then move over 
to the right hand corner and notice that x becomes 750 but y is still 0. As you move down to the left hand corner notice that x is 0 and y is 1024. And finally if you move over to the right hand corner notice that x is 750 and y is 1024. Understanding these coordinates will help you design very successful apps. In our next lesson, we will learn how to add actors to our scene. Our actors will include birds that flutter across the scene and worms that the birds can fly to and gobble up. Looking forward to see you in the next lesson.